Okay guys, welcome back. And uh, this is Clash of Clans, if for some reason you didn't know that. But we're in a war right now against this clan called like Agenti007 and we're winning by like a ton of points. But I have a feeling they're in a different time zone so they're probably going to attack later on. But I'm I'm going to scout out some people, figure out who I should attack. I'm going with another dragon attack because someone... I asked if I should attack with other stuff, and then nobody commented except for one guy who said I should actually keep doing dragon attacks. So, I'll go with it. Why not? And plus, they're kind of OP at my level right now, the level I'm at. I, I'm liking the looks of this guy's base, though. I might go for it. I mean, he's number 11. My recommended was number 14. But I actually think this guy's base would be easier for me. So, yeah. Also, I got, like... <laughs> hmm, what was I going to say? Yeah, I don't know why my Clash of Clans is still in winter mode, like... It's still in Christmas theme. I'm going to take out these two air defenses probably if I can with the rage spell strategy. Hopefully that gets done. I'll just do five and five dragons here. This is this guy doesn't have his rate, def, air defenses leveled up. He's got a town hall eight and he has like a level one and a level two air defense. But um, uh, gosh, what was I going to say? Yeah, my, my um clash, I mean the one on my phone, the clash of clans on my phone is updated. But... The Clash of Clans on my computer is still in Christmas edition, which is weird. I don't know if I have to update it differently. It updated automatically out of Halloween mode. I think it just does it later, because I have to update like the emulator. Maybe they have to update that later, and it doesn't automatically do it or something. I don't know, because my phone automatically updates the app, so I I, I just it's assumed that this it would do the same, but I don't think it does. I don't know. Anyway, this looks like it's actually going to be a three-star... Surprise, surprise. Honestly, dragons are pretty overpowered right now. For for um, my my ability level. They're going to become less overpowered as I start moving up in the ranks, though. I'm going for Town Hall 8 because I've maxed out my Town Hall 7 now, pretty much. So I think it's time to move on to Town Hall 8, finally. I dragged it out as long as possible. But yeah, 3 stars. I am... Probably gonna just head straight to the next attack. Cause this is gonna be a long video. We got like a bajillion features to do. So we'll see if it gets closer by the time I train a whole bunch more dragons. We'll see. It's another three stars. Okay, the dragons are trained again. And it's it's been a while. Actually not it hasn't really been a while. Never mind. But we're gonna go attack. Let's see if it's closer than last time. But yeah, that's that's Oh no, well my goodness, we are destroying them. I'm starting to wonder if they're going to get more than three attacks in. Like, this may be... Like, why would they search for war, though? I'm just going to go straight in for number 14. Definitely harder than my last base I attacked, because he actually, like, cares about his air defenses a little bit. But I think we'll still be able to take it. I really underestimated dragons at the beginning when I first unlocked them. Oh, he's got a Tesla. You know what? I was gonna do 5 and 5, but I accidentally dropped like 7, so we're just gonna do all 10. Because placing 3 down at the other side, I don't think that would be a good idea. It's either 5 and 5 or 10 on one side. But yeah, that's all I got. We got like 11 people or something that I don't know, that I just pulled that number out of my head, but we got a lot of people that want features. So we're gonna need to. This, this video is gonna be long, I'm gonna be honest. And some, a couple people did request features, but then they didn't actually attack in the war. So if you're one of those people, sorry, but, like, I can't feature you because, you know, of obvious reasons. Um, yeah, what, what's gonna happen here? It looks, it might get it. This is gonna be a lot closer. That, that guy's air defense is still alive. None of the dragons are deciding to go for it because they're just... Ugh, this is a no bueno situation. I repeat, this is a no bueno situation. Okay, if there's background noise, I apologize, but we're just gonna have to live through it. This my house has a lot of background noise in general, so we're just gonna like pretend like it is not even there. What's going on? Yes, the air defense is finally dead at 93%. Looks like another three star. Excellent party time. This guy's base design is interesting. He has like oh, actually, it's it's weird. I don't know. He's just got like random walls sitting on the outside. Okay, so that's a three star. 420 dark elixir. I guess that's what gold 3 gets, I don't know, for the war win bonus. But 
that was my two attacks. Now let's get to the actual interesting attacks, which is going to be other people's attacks. So I'll, I'll, I'll feature them as, as they happen. Looks like we got 52 to 5. All right. All right, Merly, I think that's how you say it. He requested a feature, and he's getting a feature. So um, here's how the featuring is going to work. I think he's trying to lure out the clan castle troops there, but there's actually no clan castle troops in the clan castle. So we, he's just going to place down a whole load of giants there, and they're going to go in. And let me just explain how the features works. You request the feature, so either I do one of two things. I take your best attack, so the attack where you get the most stars, or... I take, if you got the same amount of stars on both your attacks, let's say you got three stars on both your attacks, I'll take the better person that you attacked. So, like, your harder attack. Because, you know, that'd be more exciting, right? So, yeah. Um. Okay, what, what's going on? So, he has a lot of giants here. So, I think his idea is to get all the defenses dead and then just send in the rest of the troops. Although, there's this primarily giants here, by the looks of it. He's got a lot of giants here. You know, I like how the giants, there's like four gold walls in the entire base, and the giants decide to go for the gold, the, like one of the four gold walls in the whole base. So these AIs aren't the smartest. But this still looks like it's going to be a three star. Like, I didn't really check to see how many stars these attacks were before I featured them. I just kind of like featured them, you know. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what happened. Oh my goodness, okay, so yeah, I think this is a 3-star. The Giants are going to kill that. It just depends if he has enough time, which I think he does. I mean, he's got the Wizards. He's, he's, he's pretty much set. He's gained, like, no loot, though, because all the gold storages and elixir are still alive. But now, this is where the loot comes in. So yeah, I'm not sure how much longer my Android emulator is going to be in, um, in Christmas Edition. But you know what? I don't really care. Because it's still Clash of Clans, and it's still, as long as it still works, I, I don't have a problem. But yeah, it's just kind of bizarre to me that it would stay like that. Alright, that's pretty much sums it up for Merly's attack. Excellent job, we're going to the next attack, that's three stars for Merly. Alright, Spencer, 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 Spencer. He's got... See, this dude left his air defense on the outside of the base, and when you leave your air defense on the outside of the base, you get 27 balloons thrown down in your base. Like he's doing here. This is a primarily balloon attack. I haven't done one of these in forever. I totally, like, I used to do balloon attacks all the time. And recently, I just have not done, done them, like, at all. But maybe that might be fun to do. Maybe that, my, that might be a fun thing to try in future wars. I don't know. Only if we're winning by a lot, though. Like, if, if it's a close, I'm just gonna go for my best troops. But, um, yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna speed it up here. He does eventually place down, like, some other troops, but that's just to lure the clan castle troops out, which the other guy has none of, so... Yeah, balloons are awesome, as long as the air defense is not really a thing. But the problem with having them all clumped up is they do take splash damage from, like, bombs. But what he does here is he puts his clan castle troops there to distract the archer tower from shooting the balloons, and then the balloons can just come in for the kill, and he... Just, I mean, all the defenses are dead, so pretty much a three-star unless it takes him like ten years to destroy the rest of this, which I don't think it will, to be honest. And now we wait, and he just gets all the stuff, and all the buildings die. So basically, it's kind of like the other guys attack, but with balloons instead of giants. Back in the day, I used to do all balloon attacks. Those were the good old days. I should, I should do them again. Alright, he's already 95, and this is going to be 100% really soon. Now it's just a race to who can get to that thing the fastest. And good game. Three stars for Spencer. Yay. Okay, let's go to the next attack. Alright, who do we have now? Rohan attacking what appears to be some guy's name that I'm not going to try to pronounce because I'm going to butcher it. So Rohan's got like a plethora of troops here. He's got like one of everything. But, you know, he has a little more of one of everything, but still. So this guy's got, actually got a half decent base, but you know, Rohan's not going to be denied. He's gonna, he's not going to be denied the attack. So the wall breakers aren't really doing a whole lot, but that's okay because the other troops are doing a lot of work. Um, yeah. Still lacking Clash of Clans commentating skills, by the way, if you didn't understand. I don't know the terminology. If I did, that would probably be a lot better, but who cares? 
So uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say what appears to be happening. I'm just gonna point out the obvious. That's my that's my idea for commentating Clash of Clans. Just like point out the plain obvious, and you'll seem like a good commentator. Okay, Rohan just put down all his troops here. I don't know how many stars this was. I think I'm not sure, but it appears not to isn't like it's not gonna be a three star. Maybe well he got the one star. He's got the fifty percent. It's just a matter if the troops can get the town hall right now. Oh, I don't think so because all those archers just died from the mortar. But yeah, that's at least gonna be a one star. And let me tell you, a one star is a whole lot better than no stars. Which is a lot of the people in the other clan, I think, got no stars by this time. And this is kind of awkward because the healer is the only thing left and it can't do squat. So, I kind of wonder what would happen if the healer was the last thing left, but it was out of range to be killed. Would it just sit there and the attack would just end? I don't know, but, um, anyway, this is Cool Guy TV. He didn't actually specifically request a feature, but he did last time. And, um, and he said thanks. And I, I don't know if that means he wants another feature, but he's getting another feature, I don't care. So he's doing a dragon attack, the, the, the strategy where you put the rage spells down, then put the dragons down, like a cool person. And, uh, well, he is cool guy TV. Ha ha! Uh, it's funny, it's hilarious. Okay. But, yeah. This is, I, I love dragon attacks, they're so nice, because the cannons and the mortars and just the ground defenses are completely useless. But, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, um, what else is there? What else is there? Do I have any important announcements? Probably not. If you want to be featured, just remember to comment your clash name and your... No, just your clash name and just say, Please feature me. I am the best clash player that there ever was. And I demand a feature immediately. And that's how to get a feature. But yeah, Google TV with the three stars. You got like... Something like eight dragons left. The Barbarian King... He just has, he just can't even, like, he doesn't even, he's pretty useless in this situation. You know, he breaks this wall, but then he, he just completely turns around and goes the other way for no apparent reason. And yeah, he, he, do, he really does nothing at all. But that's three stars for Cool Guy TV. Alright, who do we have here? Game Alex 11. So he's, he's attacking this base, which is kind of an interesting base layout. I'm not sure if it's what I would have picked. But it's something. And... What does Game Alex decide to do? Apparently, he decides to put archers on the outside, the Barbarian King, and he's actually using Hog Riders. This is the first time I've seen someone use Hog Riders in like 11 weeks. That might actually be an exaggeration, but still. No one really uses Hog Riders, and I think the Hog Riders are actually pretty good. The only reason I don't use them is because I'm trying to save my Dark Elixir for our Barbarian King. Otherwise, I'd use Hog Riders all the time. But yeah, um, geez, the heal spell is good. It can't do nothing. Can do anything to the troops in the heal spell. So I level four heal spells are like the best thing. It's basically like invincibility spells unless you're under like tons of heavy fire. But yeah, all the defenses are dead because the hog riders are just too good. And this guy's base is gonna get three starred probably. I mean, if it didn't get three starred, I'd be a little concerned because this looks like an easy three star. Except, you know, there could just be like a big bomb that hits all the troops at once. That would just be stupid. Alright, um... <clears throat> that's that's three stars for game, Alex. Let's go to the next attack. I think we have more attacks. Yeah, we got even more features to do. This one's Google Plex. Attacking a rushed Town Hall 9. You see, this is what you call rushing your Town Hall, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. You probably just like jammed it to like Town Hall 9 with Town Hall 2 gear. And just went from there. But Googleplex is going in with witches, which appear to be pretty good troop. I wish I had him, but I don't. And uh, let's see what he does here. This guy's base is really confusing because it's really spread out, which is probably a terrible idea. Because he just got like two layers of walls. It's just like, you know, not the most ideal situation. But yeah, he's using all sorts of troops. And I think this ends up being like a two star. Maybe, I don't know. I, I honestly should not say, because I have no idea. But, the, the troops just keep going, and eventually, I think, they just wipe out all of the stuff. See, so yeah, as you can see, detailed Clash of Clans commentary. Clearly, I know exactly what it's going on here. We got troops, and they seem to be destroying buildings, which is quite an interesting development here. 
And uh, the, the troops seem to be, the health on the building seems to be getting lower, which is good for the troops. And it appears as if the troops are attacking a town hall. See, like, that would, that would, that would, um, that's what would happen if I just pointed out the obvious the whole time. And it probably would sound better than the normal commentating. But whatever, whatever. Oh, this guy's an expo. You know it's rush when you got a level 1 mortar, but you also have an expo? Yeah, that's a, that's a bit of an unbalanced situation, if you ask me. This might actually... This is gonna be close. It's all gonna come down to what the troops decide to attack. And I think what what what's gonna cause this not to be a 3 star is because the expo... Nothing seems to want to attack the expo, and that, that's just gonna kill everything off. Because they all go out this way, which is just... No, the expo survives with, like, one hit point left. And I feel like... I don't know. It, it was gonna be close anyway, but... This is kind of just like an awkward situation, but the awkward the, the archer is able to actually kill. Oh wait, never mind. I thought the archer was gonna kill the dark elixir drill. Never mind. My bad. Okay, Eli Packer fan. Next attack on the agenda. He's going with the dragon attack because you know this guy left his air defenses on mostly on the outside, and you know what happens when you do that? You get dragon or balloon attacked or any other air troop. See, this is a little different, because it's actually like level 3 dragons, instead of whatever the heck I have, level 1s or something. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm a long way from level 3 dragons. I, I think I'm gonna unlock... Hmm... Pekos and level 2 dragons, I'm pretty sure, are both the same amount of, of elixir. So I'm gonna have to make a decision. I'll probably go for level 2 dragons first. To be honest. I feel like that would just... I don't know. I love Pekka's, but if I'm gonna... I, I'd rather just go for level 2 dragons first off. I don't know how many stars this was. This might have actually been a 3 star. I, of course I never know how many stars anything is anymore. The only problem I see is that air defense is still not dead. That one way in the corner. And it's like the last thing the dragons are probably gonna destroy at this point. They're they're coming. They're kind of slow. But, you know, they're, they're, they're good enough as they are, you know. Buff dragons. They're not good enough. Clearly. Um, um, yeah. This this is looking like a 3-star. There's no way the air defense can hold off all these dragons. Unless it instantly turns into, like, a level 10 air defense, which I don't even think is possible. I don't even know. I think it only goes up to, like... I'm not even gonna try to pretend like I know what that answer is. But yeah, oh, 3 stars for Eli Packer fan the Great. And I think that might be the last feature. I don't know. We got, like, a ton of features. I'm just going to scrolling down through the comments here and just... They're just, like, tons of things. I'm just trying so hard not to forget any. But, yeah. Three stars for Eli Packer fan. Excellent. So, yeah. It turns out that actually was the last feature that was requested anyway. But, that's not the end of the video, you see. Because, um, we still gotta see the war. Um, we still need to see the how the aftermath happened. So, let's see that. We actually did end up winning by a lot but the other clan actually used only four attacks less than us let me just yeah and of course ben you know with the most heroic attack for the 80th consecutive time let's watch rohan's most heroic defense so ah let's do the defense first so as you can see this guy's got the good troops but rohan has the clan castle troops which are going to be a problem for this dude because you know he's going to get like half of his giants dead off the bat which is going to be a problem for him and at this point, he the, the attacker makes a really bad mistake. He places down his balloons, and Rohan's air defense isn't even close to dead. You see, Rohan is not like those other people. Rohan's actually smart because he put his air defense, like, sort of towards the center of his base. So when this guy goes in with the balloons, they're just going to get destroyed because the air defense is going to kill them in, like, two hits. So, yeah, the, that's why... Yeah, no. And plus, Rohan's still got those clan castle shoes, which are somehow still alive at this point. He's still got, like, five clan castle troops that aren't dead so uh, they're gonna just go around and kill whatever's left of this attacker's troops and this guy's only at like 36 percent i'm pretty sure he was going for like at least a two star and he did not even get a star so rohan most heroic defense we somehow won wizard still alive and i think the wizard the wizard's just gonna kill everything that's left pretty much yeah see that's why clan castle troops are amazing to have so now that the wizard's I mean, this guy may have actually been able to pick up the 50 per He actually would have been able to pick up the 50% if the wizard d was dead, to be honest. Because the archer would have gotten some percentage. Those other troops on the outside would have gotten percentages. 
But yeah, we're, we're, we're watching Ben's 80th heroic attack in a row. And so let's see how this one plays out. I'm guessing dragons. I'm guessing, yep. Well, nine dragons and ten archers. I think the archers are for the clan castle. But this guy is like the max town hall. He's got like the... This is number one in the other team's clan, I think. 90% sure this was their number one player. But, yeah, his strategy here, he's just got all everything in a giant wall. Which I'm not sure how I feel about that, you know. But, you know, Ben's not going to be denied in this situation. He's got, he's got that, he's got like nine level three dragons, and then he just plays down his clan castle, just out pops a level one dragon, which probably died instantly. No, it's still alive! I don't know who donated him that. It wasn't me, I don't think. I donated like one dragon, I don't think it was to Ben. But, let's see if the level one dragon survives throughout the whole attack. That would be amazing. But as you can see, the Barbarian King is being absolutely useless. He can't even break through the first wall. The, the attack's gonna be over by the time he even gets into the base. Alright, is the dragon, is the level 1 dragon still alive? Yes, he, there he is, I see him. Right on the left. He's still alive. I think he's gonna live through it. He better live. They really want... So the Barbarian King at this point, Ben's almost at 50%. The Barbarian King's almost in, actually in the base. Just a few more. Yep, here he comes, finally ready to do some stuff. The Inferno Tower is a really big problem, though. Wait, where did the level... Ah, oh, the level 1 dragon died. I think something he forgot, though, is that there's an air defense on the outside there, but the air defense is still alive. But that's a 2-star anyway, which is good, especially for attacking their number 1 guy. I'm pretty sure that's about all the damage the dragons can do. So since they got that Inferno Tower there, he probably can just destroy one more building, and that's the attack. So, congratulations, Ben, on your, like, 80th heroic attack in the row, and I think that's gonna wrap it up. I need to end this right now, because this video is getting way too long. But yeah, that was Chub Dogs versus Agenti007. Good game.